Hey people, Injured here, back with some more Warhammer 40k Death Watch Tyranny Invasion. Hasn't been much of an invasion so far. We're doing pretty good. Nobody's died. Got one champion, bunch of veterans, and Magnus. Good old Magnus. We're going to jump right into. What is it? Act 4, Part 4 Hunted. Kill team of the Servo Skull, but a large Tyranid creature is stalking them. As they make for their extraction site. Okay, so we. I always say, oh, it's part four of an act, they're gonna introduce something scary. Looks like they're doing it here. Maybe a Hive Tyrant, maybe a Carnifex. We will see. Good thing we've got that Grav Gun now. That Power Fist might come in handy too. Grav Gun over there on Gillian. And let's do this. Kill team, we are picking up signs of a large Tyranid organism. No worry then. Your position. Get to the extraction zone. Must be a Carnifex, or they wouldn't keep calling it large. The Hive Tyrant's pretty damn large. Where is? Oh, what did he say? Just get to the extraction site. How can I see my? Oh, there. Reach the extraction zone. Resume. Okay then. Valerius, where are you? Oh, why are you stuck be behind people? Ortho move up. Uh, it's a Carnifex. We're pretty well modelled too. Is there going to be more than one? Okay then. It's just the whole mission. Just fight a Carnifex. Um... Is he like taking up four tiles or something? What is going on here? I'm not sure if Gellion can just move up one space and be able to throw his crack. I don't know what the range is on this thing. Is it just his weapon range? I don't know. So, um, just Overwatch. Good range on the old overwatch there. We definitely want Magnus out in front. Ortho can move there. Or not. Come on. Go. Oh, there's a Hormagon over there as well. Brilliant. Uh, who is this? This is Magnus. Take out this Hormagon first. Nice. Now, oh, you can't move up. Oh, why don't you turn the camera, Indrid, you moron. There we go. Okay. Ortho, try and take this guy out with your plasma pistol. Nice. Doesn't have enough for an overwatch now, but Valerius can move up to here. If the Carnifex gets close, and it looks like it's a melee Carnifex, so... There's that, at least. Netzuck and Overwatch. Of course, he's got that ad adrenaline rush to use as well if he needs to. Magnus can move up. Can he actually hit it from here? No. But he can Overwatch. Oh, would Free Fire hit it? No, I don't think it does. It's within range. So that's going to be a free attack, I think. Don't. Oh, he's got a Grav Gun now, of course. I keep forgetting. Old Gellion. Okay then. What is this thing again? Oh yeah, thirty percent damage mitigation. So let's we took out a couple of hormigons, but let's see what the old Carnifex has got in store for us. Getting shots on Valerius, you little bastard. Hits two of them. Hits three of them. Bastard. You're gonna march forward. There we go. Grav gun. Wow, look how much AP it has. Was another grav gun shot, and yet another grav gun shot. Doesn't seem to be stripping the AP away. Net Zark, if you step again, Net Zark's gonna shoot you again. There we go. Whoa, missed. I should have looked at the stats of the Carnifex, you twat. How much damage is this thing doing? Is it worth Valera's trying to get into melee with this thing, or is he just gonna get one shotted? He missed there, which was freaking lucky. 
Uh, has 4,000 hit points. Not a huge amount of damage. Nothing I can't deal with, I don't think. So, let's throw the crack. Boom. That was awesome. This is going to give me a free attack, I think. Oh, look, the Carnifex has no AP now because of the grav gun. That was awesome. Wow, how lucky we found that Master Crafted one because I certainly didn't want to take the regular grav gun when I found that. Do we go for the overcharge here? I mean, he's got no AP. He can't come after us next turn. This is the time to use it, I think. Get a crit. Missed. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's time for adrenaline. Time for adrenaline. Might have been might be premature, but we want to take it down before oh, before he gets AP back. Okay. Need some crits here, Nets up. Crits, Nets up. Really? There we go. Seven four one. Mix up for that miss. One crit out of all of this. There's another one. Beautiful. Netzuck absolutely owned it. And I don't know. Can you retaliate if you have no AP? Oh, there we go. Just punch a Connie fix to death. Do I still need to extract? I do. It's just little fellas now. Unless there's another Connie fix waiting for me up there. Which is possible. Entirely possible. Kill the Connie fix. There we go. Grav gun. Wow, the grav gun was awesome there. We we took it down in one turn though, basically. Well, including the overwatch shots. And Magnus completely missed his overcharge, which was awesome. Valeris. Oh, you can get shots here. And take it down. Well done. Ortho is going to lead the line now. He's the only one of AP left. Oh. I lie. Gillian has AP. So you can just move all the way up. Solid 400 odd damage from the crack grenade as well. Are there melter bombs as well? Maybe there are. Uh, you're going to overwatch ortho. Because that guy is going to have to get close. You're going to have no AP next turn net zerk. But you did your job. He got like uh, 2,000 odd damage in. All by himself because of those two crits. Come on, Ortho. It's not overheating. Grav gun. You still kill the little things. Doing decent damage. The master crafted bottle. The master crafted one, I should say. Uh, Valeris. Time for you to move up. You've taken a few hits, but you're fine. Netzark can't do anything. Magnus can move up. So can Ortho. And so can Kelly, and I don't think they're gonna throw another Carnifex at us. Oh, but there's a Termigant. That's nothing to worry about. Everyone spent their AP, right? Yep. Netzark had none to spend. Miss. Alrighty then. Move it up. Grabcon can take down these fools. Free fire is not off cooldown yet, though. Which sucks. Well, oh, I only hit for 22. That 80 must have been a crit then. And then you miss. Freaking grab guns. Freaking grab guns. And you miss again. He's got a 75% chance to hit with that, I think. That's pretty unlucky. Maybe these smaller Tyranids have. A dodge chance and stuff. Maybe that's why Magnus missed that Gene Sealer so much in the last mission. Come on, Valeris, finish it off. There we go. Must have crafted bolt pistol hits like a truck. Magnus, just move up, whatever. And if you can get in range for a shot, I don't think. So this is a Termigant. It's going to get some shots off, most likely on Valeris. There are some weapons that get extra shots, I think, if they're 
if enemies are within a certain range. I think it just said that on the loading screen, didn't it? So I think I recorded the loading screen. Oh my god. Trying to flank. Netzark. Might have a melter gun for him. XP in the bag. 741 crit. Laris. You get the XP, Sonny. Everyone else move up. Should be able to get out of here next turn. Something spawned. But no, I'm not going to grind for XP. Can he get into a slot here? We'll see. Not sure if Netzark can get in. I don't think he can. Nope. Next turn then. Oh, there's the termagant. Could have took it out. Oh well. Oh, maybe one of these guys can do it. Depends where the termagant goes. Probably not though. I'm just gonna peek around and shoot at Netzark, I suppose. And miss. Ah! It's another little Hormagorn or something. Wow, why doesn't it let me control the camera when tyrannies are taking a turn? It's so annoying. Die. Or not. Die. Really, Netzark? Come on. Wow. Wow. Um, okay, you suck at shooting right now, apparently. So we're just going to leave. And give me a pack of awesome stuff. Hopefully, a, either a champion devastator, so I can use that awesome missile launcher, or a champion black templar assault, so I can use that power sword. That would be cool. Oh, I'll get a card as well. A Mastercrafted Power Sword. Uh, I think Valeris is getting that because I'm going to guess it's 1 AP. And that is awesome damage for 1 AP. And I get 20 things and a pack. Something is excellent at close range and have strong melee attacks, blah, blah, blah. I think we can sell stuff to get another. Do we even need to sell stuff? Yes, we're at 88. So, I am sorry, Felsite. Oh, maybe I shouldn't actually reassign him yet because I might get something in this pack which is awesome for Space Wolf Assaults or something. Here we go. Howl of the World Wolf. And that sounds like a Space Wolf bolt pistol right here. Fires 40% extra volleys if the target is within half the range. Oh, that's the thing I was just talking about. Rapid fire. It's a rapid firing bolt pistol. That's what bolters have. But look at that. Terrible, terrible accuracy. Good crit though. But that is woefully bad accuracy. I don't know if that's worth taking out Magnus. We got a regular Assault Marine, really. And a new Narthakeum. Just as the regular guy. Yeah. Not good. Had some good... Passives though. Oh, I've clicked it again and now they've all doubled up. Bug. Here's another Kiem. Which. At least it's accurate. Okay. So. Valerius, you're getting a new toy. Or not. Oh uh, no. Did that power sword have something on it I didn't check for? Is it another chapter specific? Is it the same freaking thing? It is. That's why it's got that symbol on it, you moron. Ah, uh, got two of these things now. I guess I can requisition one. Or rather get requisition for one. So I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. I can certainly get another pack here, I think. Do we want to use Felsite? What? Chapter are you even from? He's a Black Templar. But he's just a regular Marine. He could use the Power Sword, but 
I'm not going to drop Valerius for this guy, and I'm not going to drop Magnus for a regular Marine. Even for the Power Sword. So maybe only Templars can get Power Swords full stop. Okay, so... Uh, I don't think I want that Howl of the World Wolf enough to drop Magnus. The accuracy just kills it there. That's terrible accuracy. If I get him to 20%, that's still only 55% chance to hit before any of those dodge things come in. But we're going to keep that bolt pistol in case we get like a crazy champion space wolf or something. Uh, Thomas, though, can go. So, oh, I did it from here, don't I? Sorry, Thomas. 94, so we just need to sell a couple of crappy little things, or just get rid of Uzi's face, fell sight, but we can get rid of a bolt pistol here, yes, and a chainsaw, that's it, that's all we need to get rid of, get another pack, come on, another a sunk marine wolf, to wolf tooth necklace, Right of the projectile really wants me to use that space wolf, doesn't it? Ah, oh, let's have a look at this necklace. I could have looked at it there. What the hell is this thing? Plus four AP this turn, but take 40% of max health as damage. That is not good. But I mean, it probably has uses. Of course it has uses, but I don't want it. What else did I get? The heck else did I get? This guy, Olaf Iceclaw, another Assault Space Wolf, the third one we've had. What's this thing? Strength of the Wolfen. That's cool. 12,000 XP though. Feral Agility. It's cool that they have a bunch of traits and stuff that they can pull in at random on the Marines. Okay. Do we take Felsight? No, you'll only have a chainsword and that world wolf thing. So um, we're actually just going to sell both of these guys, or reassign, or whatever. Sorry, fellas, party's over, and um, sell all of the crap we can. Do we sell this howl of the world wolf? That accuracy is so bad. 40% extra shots. What would that even mean? Two extra shots? I don't think it's worth it. It's got good crit though. No. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm sure many of you are yelling at the screen now for me to keep that thing. But um, I don't like it. It's cool. Nice ideas. We can sell one of these power swords. And I'll, I think I guess we'll keep. I don't want this thing. I may as well keep it. No, sell it. We've got seals. Oh, we got this thing. What is this? Plus fifty percent damage to missile weapons. Well, we have a beautiful missile launcher up here, ready to be used, but no bloody good devastator to use it. It keeps giving me assault marines. Okay, Bolter, I guess we can get rid of that now. Up to 30 again, we can get rid of these, one of these Narthikiums. Any other brother carry would just come with one. So I have no idea why that's even a drop out of a pack. What is the point of that? Chainsword can go. These bolt pistols can go. This chainsword can go. Blind grenades stay. They're always going to be useful for those extra war gifts lots when we get them. And uh, yeah, we're keeping the seals for the same reason. And that's that. What about our marines? Did we get... How much XP did that carnifex give? I didn't notice. 
What are we doing on this guy again? Oh, we want this. Revenge of Sanguinius. We need to make sure, when we get that, make sure that Netzark gets the killing hits whenever we can. On big stuff like that. Ortho. Uh, we wanted that heal on him. Where is it? No. This one. Medicaid. That seems good. Valerius. Posture we want. Which is only 4,000. Not that far off it. Galleon. You're still waiting for a plasma gun. Or what else could he get? Unforgiven. That's pretty cool. In some kind of desperate situation. He really wants a plasma gun though. What about this? Oh, that's good. So he's got options. Could always just save up for a new Wargis slot, of course, which is what we're doing for Magnus right here. So nothing we can get for our Marines, but we took down a Carnifex in one turn of combat, pretty much, including the Oathwatch. That was pretty cool. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.